<clears throat> Good morning everybody, so it's Monday again, start of another week um, That's unbelievable to think that uh, here we are again uh, Meeting like this and still not able to get back together into the church So uh, not so good today the weather by the look of it I did read somewhere over the weekend that we were supposed to be having a mini heat wave But obviously not coming our way at the minute anyway Although I know that yesterday uh, was a lovely day and I hope you got outside and were able to enjoy the, the nice warm sunshine that we did have yesterday. So we're hopeful of going down the road to Birmingham today to see Brody and John and Sophie. So uh, I'll keep you posted on how that goes for us. Um, we did, um, Irene and Marjorie and Bill and myself, did spend a lot of time yesterday in the church, um, preparing the church for hopefully being able to reopen at some time soon. Uh, Presbytery are looking for evidence from me, photographic evidence, that uh, we've got the place prepared. So we did spend a long time yesterday and as I did say to you last week, hopefully uh, on Wednesday and Friday this week, the church and the hall and the kitchen will be being deep cleaned, professionally deep cleaned, in order that we can start moving forward with uh, some things. So please, um, if you are wanting to know what's happening, please phone me. Uh, I know that uh, there was a rumour going round yesterday that the church was open and it was only a rumour and I don't know who started it. But um, if I get them, I wouldn't be pleased. Um, so uh, please, if you want to know what's happening, please phone anybody at all, any of the elders. I know a lot of people have got uh, buddies that they can phone. Um, but please check with someone what's happening and you know that we do try and keep you informed of what's going on um, and at the minute still not opening up for members of the congregation. I know that the old parish have had a, a service. I don't know that they're um, planning to do any more uh, soon, but I know that Green Hills certainly um, have been open for the last three Sundays. So we are trying to catch up with that. And we are doing our best, but believe me, it is a lot of work. But once we get the church cleaned, that's the next important move. The scaffolding is all away um, earlier than we had to thought. So that's been good for us and enabled us to get in yesterday and get some things ready. So please phone somebody if you want to know what's happening. Um, don't be turning up at the door to find it, that the door is not open. So we've been reading through Luke and we are still there and we're on Luke chapter 10 and I know that, that we've had some of the stories already because we have read some of the parables already just out of context but um, we're making our way through Luke and um, part of the reading today will be the parable of the Good Samaritan, a story we all know very well. So it's Luke chapter 10 and I'm starting at verse 21. At that time, Jesus was filled with joy by the Holy Spirit and said, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, I thank you because you have shown to the unlearned what you have hidden from the wise and learned. Yes, Father, this was how you were pleased to have it happen. My Father has given me all things. No one knows who the Son is except the Father, and no one knows who the Father is except the Son and those to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Then Jesus turned to the disciples and said to them, How fortunate you are to see the things you see. I tell you that many prophets and kings wanted to see what you see, but they could not, and to hear what you hear, but they did not. A teacher of the law came up and tried to trap Jesus. Teacher, he asked, What must I do to receive eternal life? Jesus answered him, What do the scriptures say? How do you interpret them? The man answered, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength and with all your mind and love your neighbour as you love yourself. You are right, Jesus replied, do this and you will live. But the teacher of the law wanted to justify himself, so he asked Jesus, who is my neighbour? Jesus answered, there was once a man who was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho when robbers attacked him, stripped him and beat him up leaving him half dead. It so happened that a priest was going down that road, 
But when he saw the man, he walked on by the other side. In the same way, a Levite also came there and went over and looked at the man, and then walked on by the other side. But a Samaritan who was travelling that way came upon the man, and when he saw him, his heart was filled with pity. He went over to him, poured oil and wine on his wounds, and bandaged them. Then he put the man on his own animal and took him to an inn, where he took care of him. The next day he took out two silver coins and gave them to the innkeeper. Take care of him, he told the innkeeper, and when I come back this way, I will pay you whatever else you spend on him. And Jesus concluded, In your opinion, which of these three acted like a neighbour toward the man attacked by the robbers? The teacher of the law answered, The one who was kind to him. Jesus replied, You go then and do the same. Amen and God bless the reading from Luke chapter 10. So, have a good Monday everybody. Um, Remember, um, I said to you last week about the shoe boxes. Again, give us a wee phone. Uh, One or two people have contacted us to say that they have things for shoe boxes that they have already um, been keeping and putting together. So that's great. Um, and we will collect that from you. And uh, if you can um, give anything at all, don't worry, it doesn't have to be a, sh- a full shoe box. That's quite hard to say. A full shoe box. Um, any items that can be put in a shoe box uh, before the end. In fact, on Friday, what we'll do on Friday is I'll get the list, and on Friday, um, when we come back, I'll read out the list for everybody so that you know what kind of things they're looking for. But just the usual things, toiletries, um, pencils, colouring pencils, um, wee packets of jelly sweets with a long date on them, um, face cloth, soap, shampoo and things like that. So um, we'll let you know on Friday from the actual list what we're collecting and if you can help in any way, um, please let us know and we'll come and collect them or we'll get someone to collect them from you. So take care, everybody. Have a good day, and we'll be back tomorrow. Bye.